Welcome back. Yes, we've taken Miss Jenny Mock out of the kitchen and she is on the couch so we can have a very frank discussion about what sounds like an amazing movie, but also an opportunity for me to have a, a little heart to heart with someone that I absolutely love and admire in terms of what she's achieved as a businesswoman and a chef. But let's set the tone here. When a tragic accident brings four very unlikely people together, an intergenerational story of grief, of coming together and starting anew is explored when they embark on opening a bakery together in the new film that we touched on earlier with JP titled Love Sarah. Take a look. I'm here about the baking job. It's a rose macaron filled with rose petal and lychee cremeur and fresh raspberries. The batter's undermixed. Sorry? Not by much, but it could do with a few more folds. There are four other bakers. What makes you so special? Why don't you try one? Tell me. Good luck. Here we go. Wow, crowds. This city is home to people from all over the place. We make our bakery something to remind them of home. You were her best friend. If anyone can put her spirit into this, it's you. So you're going to join me or what? Love, Sarah. Because food is love. Let's be honest, it's our emotional connection directed by Elisa Schroeder and starring what looks like a very accomplished cast led by uh, Celine Emery. The film Love, Sarah is opening in Mzanzi cinemas nationwide today and we are joined by our lovely friend of Expresso Jenny Morris to share more about the story and also the emotional connection for you because I would imagine as someone who's lived in part some of this journey your failures your successes have all been tied into food it must be a beautiful beautiful thing uh, maybe you can set the tone for us as someone who's had a bit of a sneak peek of it. Set the scene for the film. I haven't sneaked it. I've watched the whole thing <laughs> because I thought, oh, my goodness, it's a beautiful movie. And it, it's like it's generational. There are layers. There's love. There's sadness. It, it's just an, an incredible movie. And um, for me, although Sarah now has passed, away. passed um, that mother... That mother is making up for all the wicked things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it's My just the most incredible. And how communities come I'm together. I um, absolutely Sarah. loved it. Um, and it's a feel good it's movie, valid. you know. And Despite the sad context. Exactly, it's, it's, exactly. I suppose it's one of rebirth. And. Boy, hasn't this year been one of oh rebirth. Oh, my goodness, me and redemption. And redemption. <laughs> There's no redemption for you, sister. Don't even stop trying, man. Stop trying. No, I, Jen, I, I can admit, remember connecting with you kind of shortly after probably the darkest stretch for both of us when, when things had probably hit rock bottom for everyone in this country. Absolutely. As an entrepreneur, you've probably been through the most this year. What, what have these challenges sure. been like and how is that changed you and your relationship with food? Do you know what? Um, number one, just the relationship of food. Let's talk about that, the scarcity of food. Sure. It's taught people to waste not and want not. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? How to do with what you haven't got um, and to, to, to switch things and change things. Um, just those dark moments where we couldn't open our doors, which meant that our staff weren't working. You had to find ways to pivot um, and to just change what you do to, for, to, to exist. And there are a lot of people out there that did clever things. You know, they were like thinking on their feet. Um, when, you, when you talk about thinking on your feet, how were you able to pivot? I'm looking at the gorgeous um, Uncle Tubsy there and you um, <laughs> having a, a, a virtual bake along in celebration <laughs> of the, the movie. Um, we know cooking with him is the most. I what, love it, cooking It's with not him. a challenge, it's an <laughs> invitation. Um, but, but this is one of those ways that, and I think this is where I always marvel at you in the, in the brands that you attract to you, the, the beautiful ways that you express cooking by, whether it's teaching a, a group of amazing woman how to bake bread or trying to teach Uncle Tubsy 
how to make a cake. Um, what was that experience like? And it sounds like there were some great prizes involved. What was that all about? There were incredible prizes. Lots of there actually were lots of prizes. It's always nice to have a lot of prizes because you want to make everybody happy, yeah, you know, at the same after time. This year, man. Absolutely. And and having him in the kitchen with me was fantastic. And I thought, who could I choose better? Because there was a pancake recipe and that child cheated. Do you remember when we did the pancake flip? <laughs> he just went like this. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna get you flipping a pancake proper. Could he? And he's Did delicious he? to work with. He's yeah, a great he's child. A sweetheart. He's my um, great child. Really, really nice competition uh, attached to that. Mm -hmm. Can you give us some details? Okay, so this is a big competition. Um, there are a lot of people out there that have pivoted, people who have yeah. lost their jobs, and how have they kept the roof over their head and food on the table? They've sure. begged. You know, I cannot tell you how many people I know that are baking and still baking because they still don't have jobs. So I want to reward those mommies out there. We've got Mother's Day coming up and Aww. the movie launches today and you don't have to watch the movie today, obviously. So I thought, what a wonderful competition with Stair Kenny Core, who are giving us a full theater, wow. the theater for a mom who we're gonna choose. Um, you've got the T's and C's and tell them sure, how to we'll enter, but you can website. have your own private viewing with your friends, with your suppliers, with your family, the people who stood by you oh, during those times beautiful. and help you to nurture that business and to just keep your family fed. So we're gonna give away your own Love Sarah premiere for you and your friends. Can you oh, imagine having that whole theater? That's beautiful. Just a, a moment to, to put the, the brakes on and reflect. I, yes. I, I absolutely love it. Thank oh. you for adding you your weight. <laughs> To that, um, thank you for also just being so lovely because you are so lovely, and oh, we, we yeah. absolutely adore you on this on this show. There's a reason why we invite you back every single day. <laughs> um, but I, I think this speaks to a, a really deep emotional connection that all of us have with cooking and you of course stand that chance to win an exclusive screening of the film Love Sarah which sounds amazing for you, your family, your friends, anyone that is dear to you at a stair clinic or cinema in either Gauteng, Cape Town or Durban, we got you covered. All you need to do is reply to our competition post on either Facebook or Twitter and tell us how baking got you or your business through lockdown and I have a feeling there's gonna be some amazing stories. And remember to use the hashtag LoveSarahSA. That competition closes at 11 a.m. today, so get on it quickly. But as always, you can find the terms and conditions on expressoshow.com.